G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to work out dosages that are to be given um, over a period of different times, okay? So where these, these dosages, uh, you know, so say you were asked to give a person a thousand mil of a medication per day, but this was happening over four different periods, how much you would be giving and how often you would be giving it. Or other types of questions might ask you, say, you, you were to give, a, you know, 2,000 uh, micrograms of a medication a day, but all, it's to occur every six hours. So how much you would be giving them each dose, and also how often these would be occurring. So I'll show you how we work these out. So say, um, so there's a couple of different ways these can be presented, but they're fairly simple to work out once you know how. So the example I just said is, say you were asked to give a patient a thousand mil of a medication, and this was per day, okay, this is a thousand mil per day. And this was to happen four times, okay, so over four different dosages, okay. So four different times during the day you were to dish out this thousand mil. So how, first off, we, you might question how much would you be giving them each dose? So to do this, what we do is we have a look at how much they need and over how many doses they're to have and we divide this. So a thousand divided by four means that they're to have 250 mil each dose. How often are they to have this medication? Well, we can then answer that because we can say, well, in a day there are 24 hours. So we divide 24 up four times. This means that 24 divided by four, this means it's six. So it's there to have this medication every six hours. Okay, and that's the type of question you'll be doing these. They're fairly simple and you just have to think logically about them when you get them. Okay, and it's a fairly simple divide type question. So I'll give you another example of this. So say you were asked um, to give a patient 350 milligrams and this was to happen, this is per day again, and this was to happen over two different doses, so two times. So to work out how much I'd get each dose, it's fairly simple. We'd go 350 divided by two is equal to, they'd get 175 milligrams each dose. How often, <laughs> again, we would get the 24 hours in a day and we would divide this into two or well, two into this. So it means that they get it every 12 hours. So do you see how that works? It's a fairly simple calculation. Again, just think about it logically when you do this. Now, the other type of question that you might get with these is as follows, is you might get given this type of information. You might get given that this patient needs 3,000, I'm going to go micrograms, and this is what they're supposed to get per day, and this is to happen every six hours. Now, this type of calculation is slightly different. First off, you've been told that second piece of information. So you don't need to work that out. You don't need to work that it's every six hours. But you do need to reverse, um, uh, you, need, you, need, you need to do something to work out your how much dosage each time. Now this is very, very careful when you, be very careful when you do this. It's not just a simple matter of now I'm just going six into 3,000. If you do this, you'll get the wrong answer. In fact, every six hours means we could work at how many dosages they're actually going to get. So, if we go 24 divided by 6, it'll mean that they're going to get 4 doses. 
You see that? So 24 divided by 6 means they're getting 4 doses. So now we're going to use this bit of information to work out this next part. So, how much do they get each dose? So they're getting 4 doses, 3,000 divided by 4. And this means that they are getting how much? <laughs> this is going to be 750 micrograms each dose. So do you see how we worked that out? First we had to uh, work out how many doses they were going to actually get. And that's a slight variance on it. It's a little trick just to be wary of when you do these. So I'll give you one more example of this. So say the patient was to have um, 720 micrograms per day and this was to happen every 8 hours ok so what do we do we have to first work out how many doses they're actually going to get ok to we know how many doses they're going to get then we can work out how much each dose will actually be so how many doses are they going to get? It's happening every 8 hours. So 24 divided by 8 means that they're going to get 3 doses. Of this, or 3 different times we're giving them the medication. So, how much are they getting each dose? They're going to get 720 divided by 3. So 720 divided by 3, they're going to get 240 micrograms each dose. So hopefully you're okay with working these out. Uh, they're not too bad but you have to be fairly systematic about how you do them and think fairly logically. Okay, the, Probably the first thing that you'll be wanting to know is put your information out in this particular order. Then you'll want to know how many doses you're getting. Okay, If that's not already given you can then work out how much they're getting each dose and if it's not already given how often this dosage is happening and that was would be how you would do this okay anyway hopefully that video is of some help see you next time bye